Hello everyone. In this video, we will be solving problem 53, maximum subarray. The problem statement is, given an array integer nums, find the contiguous subarray containing at least one number, which has the largest sum. The subarray is a contiguous part of an array. So if you look at example number one, we have been given an array with some numbers, positive and negative. Using this input, we can get a total of six using these four numbers in a contiguous subarray. Now let's switch to whiteboard and understand different approach to solve this problem and see how we can improvise it to get the best runtime complexity. I will be using the example given in the problem statement to discuss the solution. If you look at the problem statement, the first solution that would come to your mind is a simple iteration where we will iterate between each combination or each consecutive numbers and keep a total of the sum of the numbers in a separate variable and continue the iteration until we go through all the combinations. For example, we start with 2, then we will try a combination of 2 and 1, then we will do with 2, 1 and 3, then 2, 1, minus 3, and 4, and so on and so forth. So at the end, we will do all the iteration from 2 all the way to 4. Once this iteration is complete, we will start with the next number, which is 1. So we will do with 1 and minus 3, 1 minus 3, and 4, 1 minus 3, 4 minus 1, and etc. And we will record the total of the current calculation in a temp variable and a sum variable which will hold the maximum calculation that we have found so far. Now, this solution definitely will solve the problem, but the time complexity is going to be gruesome. It's going to be O of n cube because we are starting with two numbers, then we are going to three numbers, then four numbers and etc. and so on and so forth. Now, let's think about how we can improvise this solution. I forgot that this first number is minus 2 and not just 2. So I'll just correct that. Okay. Now going back to the solution. What if I tell you there is a way to solve this problem with just one iteration. We start with iterating from the first number all the way to the end only once. And at the end, we will have our result in a variable and we can return it. For that, we will have two variables. One is going to be the temp and one is going to be the sum. The sum is where we will hold our final result and this temp is going to be a variable where we will store the temporary calculations. The approach, the is, approach is at that each at iteration each point we, we will compare, compare the current, the current value number with the previously, with calculated the previously sum saved and make calculation previously calculated value to add the and see number if it to makes the sense to add sub -add. the new number. If okay, it let makes me show sense, you with example. We will add the two together I am and at continue iteration. My pointer is and pointing at minus sense, two right now. We will okay. stop the iteration. So my current there. sum or then I new array and this reset is going the to be variable. When we start the iteration, our pointer will be pointing at negative two, and we will have no value in temp and some variables. Because we don't have any values in temp and some variables, we will add negative two to both of them. I will increment my pointer by 1. So now I will be pointing at 1. Now what we need to do is compare the total of the current value with the previously calculated sum against the current value, which is higher. If it makes sense to build a new sub array including the current value or to start a new sub array. So with adding it to the previously calculated value, I will get minus 1 and here I have one so it does not make sense to add it with the previously calculated value because it's definitely lower than the current value so we will ignore minus two and start a new sub array with one so I will replace minus two with one in the temp variable and on each iteration we need to compare which is the higher value the current sum or the current temp and whichever is higher needs to be saved in the sum variable. So in this case, we will overwrite negative 2 with 1. Now we will continue with the iteration. My pointer has incremented by 1. 
So now I'm pointing at negative 3. The same logic applies like before my current sum with the current value. So my current sum is 1. If I'm adding negative 3 to it, my total is going to be negative 2. The current value is negative 3. So between negative 2 and negative 3, which one is higher? Definitely negative 2 is higher. So it makes sense to combine 1 and negative 3 in a subarray. So the temp variable will be updated to minus 2. And no changes to the sum variable because 1 is higher than minus 2. And I will now increment my pointer. Now I am pointing at 4. When I am pointing at 4, I need to compare minus 2 plus 4 against 4. Which one is higher? Minus 2 plus 4 gives me 2. And here I will have 4. Definitely 4 is higher. So there is no point of continuing the previous sub array. So we will cancel the previous sub array and start a new one. So my temp will reset now. It will become 4. And I will compare 4 with the current sum. So definitely 4 is higher. So it will be updated. And I will increment my pointer. So now I am pointing at negative 1. So 4 plus minus 1 or minus 1. Which one is higher? This is 3. This is minus 1. Definitely this is higher. So we will continue the sub array with 4 and minus 1. So now my total is 3. 3 is less than 4. So I will not touch. I will not update the sum and increment my pointer. So now I am pointing at 2. When I am pointing at 2, my new temp is going to be 3 plus 2, which is going to be 5. And here I will have 2. So between 2 and 5, 5 is definitely greater. So I will continue the sub array and update my temp. So now my new temp is going to be 5. Because 5 is greater than the current sum, my sum will be updated. Now it will become 5. I think I have missed this out. This is plus 1 and not negative 1. I am updating my input. And now I will continue incrementing my counter. So now I am pointing at next value which is 1. Repeat the same cycle. So my current temp is 5 plus 1 then 1. So comparison is between 6 and 1. Definitely 6 is better. So I will update my current temp to 6 and because it is greater than the current sum. So I will update 5 to 6 and increment my counter. So this is going to give me a sub array with 4 entries. After incrementing the counter, I will try the next combination. So the next combination is negative 5. So 6 plus negative 5 or negative 5. Going to give me 1 and negative 5. So definitely 1 is higher than negative 5. So I will update my temp. So my temp is going to be 1. But 1 is less than the current sum. So the current sum stays the same. And I will increment my pointer. So now I am comparing 1 plus 4 or 4. So this is going to give me 5. This is going to give me 4. 5 is better. So I will update my current temp to 5. And comparing 5 with 6, 6 is higher, so I will keep it as is. And now that we have completed the iteration, we have the maximum contiguous subarray sum in this variable and we will return that. I hope you were able to follow this explanation and the solution. With this solution, our time complexity is O of n because we have iterated through the array only once. And our space complexity is O of 1. As we are only using two variables to hold the current temporary sum and the current sum, the maximum sum. Let me show you its equivalent implementation in C sharp. Here's the C sharp solution. In the main method, I am initializing this return value variable which holds the minimum value as of now. Then I have a validation to check if the input is not null and the length of the nums array is greater than zero. After that, I have this temp variable which will hold the sum of the contiguous arrays. Then I start my iteration on the input array. If the current number that I, my pointer is pointing at is greater than the sum of the temp and the current number, 
then I am resetting my temp to the new number or else I am adding the current number to the temp. After this check is complete, I am updating the return value based on whichever is the higher. So if the current return value is higher, it will retain its value else the temp value will be saved in return value. After this iteration is complete, I will have the maximum sum of the contiguous subarray in this variable and I will return it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you were able to understand my explanation and this solution. This is definitely an easy problem to understand and solve it. The challenge is to make sure that you are coming up with the most efficient solution and that's what I have tried to explain in this video. I will be adding the link to the source code in the description below. Feel free to check that out and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.